Hey, hello, I'm Fritz. Nice to see you again. In this video, I'll show you how to use Coxis to configure a Povinet IO controller. I'll show you the camera first. Okay, here is my camera. And here you can see I am using the Paxis. It is a Coxis CPU they made from Italy. I have a thanks them. They brought me a demo kit to test it. And this is a Wago Povinet coupler that I brought from Wago Japan help me to test the Povinet network and as you know before as you know that Povinet have IO controller and IO device the IO controller you can measure that is a uh, master in your network and IO device is the slave okay so let's start before you convict the Povinet network as I show you so many Povinet, Povinet um, tutorial before you need to download gstml file from the manufacturer website so go to google to search 750375 to find out the few backups folder Povinet IO the first generations other ones and go to downloads and download the device description file you need this file to import inside your cookies IDE Okay, now then you can open the Coxis IDE. In my case, I set up my Coxis with the target Paxis. Paxis uh, PL700 controller. Now I can check the connections, is working or not. I can choose to go to process device and communication setting and scan the network. Okay, I can see that my device in here. So the communication is okay, work. First of all, I need to install the GSML file. Go to um, tubes and device responsibility. And here you see this uh, screen. Go to the install. Then to down to install the GSML file that you download from the Wago website. Okay, done. I hope you all guys finish this one. And then now we can start to configure our Povinet network. The first thing we need to do is we need to add a Ethernet adapter. Select device, right click, add device, and select Ethernet adapter, adapter. Click it. Now you see adapter is at in your project. So what is this adapter? Actually, when I open the camera, it actually acts, um, is exactly what is your network interface card of your Coxis CPU? It may, in my case, if I use Paxis, I only have one network interface. If you're using your PC as the Coxis runtime, you have two or three or the more network interface. You must choose the right one that you're using in the Povinet. Okay, so uh, close it and then click the Ethernet. We need to config our project to use this uh, adapter. How can we do this? Browse it. You can choose this one. one two. It is uh, the Ethernet interface that of this port. Okay, just click open. Done. So now we can insert a Povinet IO controller right click at device and Povinet go to filters Povinet IO and Povinet IO master and then you can choose a PN control at device okay great and then here just open it there is some cool things you need to set it in my case first of all you need to set your first live IP parameters so what is that if you see my uh, previous tu uh, Povinet tutorial before, that you will know Povinet IO controller will depends on the device name and then assign IP to each Povinet IO device. It is the first one of your slave IP address. So if I add a Wago couple in here, the first address will be three point two. If I add other Povinet IO device, it will be three point three, three point four, three point five, just like this. It's not so some difficult things. Okay, done. So next we need to add a Povinet IO device. In this tutorial, it should be my Wago 750 V75 couple 
what can we do we can just wreck it at device again okay in here there's so many uh, so many couplers you just need to choose the correct versions and firmware and actually the same product number right so in my case I'll choose 750 v 75 w205 firmware so 8 just add it okay great the proof in that couple is add in your project click it the blow IP is 3.2 there's some some things you need to set. For example, the first one is the station name. In default, it is Wago hyphen seven five zero hyphen v seven five. But in my case, I change it to Wago x seven five zero x seven uh, three seven five x twelve. So what's the twelve? Um, sorry that my camera is not a good camera. Maybe you cannot see this deep switch. There's a small deep switch in here. You will see seven deep switch seven and X turning on and deep one, two, three, four. Switch three and four all turning on. So if I turn on the deep switch seven and eight to on position, it means now my Kapora, my station name of this Kapora will depend on deep switch from one to six. Now we see that three and switch v and four is turning on right so one two four eight so the value is eight plus four is twelve so it's so why i set the number like this okay and the next one i would like to show you is you need to enable the web server it will help you to uh, get more information information from your web well couple and the default is disabled just go to down in the general device parameters and web server and change it to one that's it okay and then next we can add the all the slot for example here you have one two three four four slot just need to insert the same slot in here go to right click and uh, add device um, use the search functions 1417 is my first device it's a digital input great and then I can use my digital output 1516. Click it. And then the same one is 597. The third one. And finally, I have a unlock input. Let's do the same thing. Okay, great. It's done. So we can save our project. Then. Uh, there's the one parameter I would like to show you how to configure it is the analog input because of the analog output which I just used a tester to test the value the current output so we don't need to config too much but for the input you see I used a very nice uh, analog output simulation modules in here I buy on Amazon and it can help me to generate a Four from four to me twenty milliampere and over voltage. If it's bad, it should you should match what you're setting that what you put inside your module. So we can go to here, um, channel. Then you can see that there's so many parameters you can set in here. I will you can just close it here. You see I A A I instance one a connection one and five. It means it's channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. I now I'm connecting it to channel two, right? Here was well, channel one, channel two. And then what we need to do is just open it and then uh, go signal type and then we change to um use zero from ten from zero to ten volt uh ten ten V footage. Just choose here and then save my project, download it again. Yes, and then just wait a second. Okay. <coughs> and then run now CPU. <coughs> okay, now you see it's done, but there's some parameter uh, maybe you need to set it. Go back to your uh couplers. 
target reduction ratio is 4, it means the cycle is very fast. Maybe the CPU cannot accept very fast uh, update time. You can change, change to a little bit slow. So log in again. Okay, great. It seems the project download the CPU. Let's run again. Okay, great. Now the CPU you see over the green icon here. It means the connection is okay. Then we see a camera. Now it's no red LED on here. It means the communication is excluded and no error. So now we can make the program here. Now just go to uh, peer, uh, applications, right click, or get object, global variable list, and edit. Then we can just define all the slot that is installed in our component. Slot 1, ARRA, 0, 2, 0 is okay because we only have one uh, byte, one byte in here. So saving slot 2. Same zero to zero of byte. Then for slow slot three, we have a uh, channel of analog output, right? Just okay. So for slot four, we can have one four of uh, integer. Okay, right. Now the all the variable is defined. Then we can map it to from our user program to the module. Just click the first one, click here, and then go search, so slot one, and then OK. Great. The second thing, let's do the same operation here, slot two, slug it, OK. So slot three, this is the slot three, OK, great. In the last one, hey, okay, uh, here mapping, change it, and then slot four, right? Okay, now mapping's finished. Now I can write some simple program here. And uh, the first one, I would like to define timer. Okay, just go here, define timer, timer, mm, T on, right? And then I would like to. Uh, here is I have a source circuit in here. So now this one, this is the first channel. The first input is always true. Then I have a bottom is connecting to the other channel. I need to check it. One zero one two is channel two. And then here I have a output is connecting in here. Let me count it. Just wait a second. It's simply like channel three. Okay, just uh, call it Tion in is equal to GVL dog zero slot one zero dog zero and GVL dog zero slot one zero dog uh dog two. Okay, and uh, just. Give a pr uh, timer setting, so, uh, preset time, time set. T is equal to T sharp one second. It's just one second timer. Okay, I don't know why it's error here. Why? T ah, sharp, okay, sorry. T sharp one second. Then uh, slot, GL dot slot zero, so slot two. And this first index doc. Let me check it again. Okay, it should be channel. It should be channel three. Doc three is equal T on doc Q. Okay, and then now for the unlock input, we can just set set point. 
it is an integer okay and uh, go to gvl.slotv let me check which channels here A channel 4 and then I need to check my GVL okay so it's channel 5 oops sorry it is channel 5 channel 5 here yeah. 5 is equal to set point right then finally we need to get the current value of our analog input module current value is real right then uh, we can current value is equal to then first thing we can uh, change it to change our value to real right uh, to real what value to change with gl dog slot 4 then we can just count with channel here channel 1 channel 2 is channel 2 right oh in the from suffer 1 okay sure so it's channel 2 and then after change it then we can uh, make the calculations delete v two seven two seven docs seven six seven zero and then uh, the far we can multiply to 10 great save it done with let's see what happened mm, just give me a second now we are down in the project Okay, then uh, we can share the camera here to let we can see the both side, the coxis side, and probably what happened here. Then uh, just skip a little bit slide here, here, great. Okay, I hope you can see it. The first thing I'll turn on the bottom. Great. Now, after one second, the output will turn on. And then uh, now we can, uh, I can turn on the tester, just a second, what's that, this side too, right? Okay, this side, now it's zero, right? I'll just keep some value here, for example, 4000. And then write it. That uh, seems like, why? Oh! I changed it to wrong one. Uh, here, yes, sure. Okay, let's check again. It's be five volt. Then let's check. Give it the maximum value. And then uh, right again. Okay, it should be ten volt. Good. Finally, we can. Oh, now it's four ten four point one voltage. Then we can try to grip up. Okay, you see the value change. 3.9, 5, 5.99, 6. Okay, so the value should, I know, input now should work. We can receive all the data. Okay, it's very simple tutorial here. I hope you like this. And if you like my video, please uh, put a like it, put a like, and subscribe my channel and share my video to your friends. I hope you can see you next time. Bye bye.